It's important to figure out what type of headache is causing your pain. If you know your headache type, you can treat it correctly. In one 2004 study, 80% of people who had a recent history of self-described or doctor-diagnosed sinus headache, but no signs of sinus infection, actually met the criteria for migraine. In this video we are discuss about 5 types of headaches and how to treat them. Number 1. Tension Type Headaches they used to be called muscle contraction or stress headaches and are the most common kind. The pain is usually on both sides, and you may feel as if a belt is tightened on your head or something is pushing on your face, head, or neck. You also may be more sensitive to light and sound. Causes of Tension Type Headaches Physical postures that strain your head and neck muscles, like when you hunch over a computer for hours or pin your phone to your ear with your shoulder, can cause these. Stress, intense work, missed meals, depression, anxiety, and too little sleep can affect the muscles in your neck, face, scalp, and jaw, and lead to them, too. Treatment of Tension Type Headaches if a health issue, like arthritis, teeth grinding, or sleep apnea, is causing them, your doctor will treat it first. If that doesn't help or you don't have any other health problem, he might suggest an over-the-counter medication like acetaminophen or ibuprofen. A hot shower or a warm washcloth on the back of your neck might help. If those don't work, you might try meditation or another relaxation technique to manage your stress. Migraine Type Headaches Throbbing pain builds, typically on one side of your head. It can be intense, and talking or walking can make it worse. You might be nauseated and sensitive to light, noise, or smells. Food cravings or changes in how much you pee can happen the day before a migraine. Some people also have an aura before, during, or after one. You could see flashing lights or wavy lines, or have blind spots. Causes of migraine type headaches There are different theories about why some people develop the condition known as migraine and others don't but genetics and the environment may play roles. Triggers for migraine headaches can be different for each person, but hormonal changes, stress, sleep problems, strong odors, tobacco, missed meals, flashing lights, and anxiety often bring them on. So can certain foods and drinks. Common food triggers are wine, aged cheeses, pickled foods, pepperoni, and salami. Treatment of Migraine Type Headaches It's best to rest with your eyes closed in a quiet, dark room with something cool on your forehead. Drink lots of fluid, especially if you're vomiting. Your doctor may prescribe drugs, either to prevent migraines or ease your symptoms. But using these too often can lead to rebound headaches, so follow your doctor's instructions. You also might keep a journal of what you do or eat right before a migraine to figure out your triggers. Cluster Headaches These come on suddenly and are very painful. They happen on one side of your head, often behind one eye. They often show up at the same time of day for several weeks. The pain typically is worst 5 to 10 minutes after it starts and can last 3 hours. Your nose and eye may get red and swell on the side where the pain is, and you may be sensitive to light, sound, or smell. You might have an aura and feel nauseated beforehand. Causes of Cluster Headaches Because they're more likely to happen at night, some doctors think they might be caused by irregular sleep. Alcohol, especially red wine, and smoking may also be triggers. 
Your chances of getting them are higher if they run in your family or you've had some kind of head injury. They happen more often in the spring and fall, and they're sometimes mistaken for allergies. Treatment of Cluster Headaches Your doctor may suggest a kind of therapy where you breathe pure oxygen to make less blood flow to your brain. Researchers aren't sure exactly why, but studies show that this can help most people who get cluster headaches. She may also prescribe tryptin drugs, also used for migraines, that narrow blood vessels and ease pain. In more serious cases, a preventative like Verapamil is given. Sinus Headaches Most people who think they have these actually have migraines. With both types, you can have pain in your face, nasal congestion, and watery eyes, and both may get worse when you lean forward. But a sinus infection, which brings on sinus headaches, also causes thick, yellow mucus, and you might have a fever and trouble smelling, too. You don't have those symptoms with migraines. Treatment of Sinus Headaches A sinus infection usually gets better on its own within a week or so, and when it's gone, your headache should be, too. If it lasts longer, you may have a bacterial infection and need antibiotics. Your doctor also may suggest you clear your sinuses with a saline solution, or she might give you corticosteroids to help with inflammation. Secondary Headaches These are brought on by an illness or condition that affects your brain. A sinus headache is an example, because it's caused by an infection. Other conditions that can cause headaches include concussions, a problem with your blood vessels, brain tumors, and seizures. Treatment of Secondary Headaches your doctor will work with you to figure out what's causing them and how to treat that condition. Once you've taken care of the other problem, your headache should get better.